Well, welcome back, YouTube. Got a special surprise for you today. Uh, over the last few months, basically, I've owned the Chevy Silverado 3.0 Duramax diesel, and I've had an opportunity to tow quite a few different things. I already have a video on mile per gallon run using the Cougar that you see there in the in the photo, but I've also been towing a flatbed trailer with some farm commodity stuff on the back of it. So. Now I have a 0 to 60 run for the my flatbed trailer that I'll show you and then I'll also go through and show you the 0 to 60 run pulling 13,160 pounds which was the camper. So here we go, getting ready, set, go. Well here we go YouTube, 14,480 pounds. 0 to 60 run, there is a little tiny bit of a hill up here. Full throttle, 52, hit the hill here, and 60. So we made it up to 60 miles an hour before we hit that hill. So just to review, the 0 to 30 time was 8.467 seconds. The 0 to 60 time was 19.552 seconds actually really good for that amount of load. And here on the screen you can see the weigh ticket for what we were just pulling. We're getting ready now to go ahead and pull the camper, a second 0 to 60 run. And now we're getting ready, set. So we're gonna go ahead go. and do a 0 to 60 run. Needless to say, a little bit of wheel slip there. And of course, now I gotta slow down. So, took a couple miles off the, the tire life there, but anyways, just wanted to give you guys a, show you what kind of power we have with the, uh, the Duramax. Plenty of power available for towing this rig. And here you can see the weigh ticket for our Cougar 27 RES that we tow. Turns out the camper is not the heaviest thing that I tow typically, but it does have the highest wind resistance overall. So the times that we had saw for 0 to 60, of course, were a little bit lower for the flatbed trailer, but all of those times are still significantly better than what we had had with other vehicles in the past. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a comparison between the 2.8 liter Colorado and the 3 liter Silverado. So here we go with our SAE J2807 shootout between the 2.8 Duramax and the 3 liter Duramax. You can see that the Colorado had a 0 to 30 time of 10.32 seconds. And the Silverado had a 0 to 30 time of 6.018 seconds, a significant improvement, a reduction of almost 71.5% in 0 to 30 mile per hour times. A lot of that's probably because of the extra torque that's available within the engine, not to mention the fact that the first gear is significantly lower in the Silverado than it is in the Colorado. Looking at the 0 to 60 times, the Colorado was able to do 0 to 60 in 27.409 seconds. That's also available in another video of mine. And the Silverado was at 18.388 seconds. Now I've had a couple of comments, and this is a repost of a video where I made a mistake on the timing, but the trailer itself weighs 7,380 pounds. Uh, overall, the improvement in the time from 0 to 60 was a 49.1% improvement in 0 to 60 times. Fairly significant having the extra torque and 10 speed. I wanted to thank everybody for watching this video and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment and I'll make sure I get back with you. 
Also, please subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified when a new video is uploaded. I have some other special videos coming up here pretty soon. I want to make sure you guys don't miss out. Thanks again for all of your support.